Hey, uh, I'm Robbie. I'm the UX designer on the platform team. Um, I'm just going to run you through a quick little proto of some stuff we've been doing for the Moodle net. Um, we've been working on the course sharing, partial course sharing and um, a shared progress um, table. So I'll just share my screen. And um, one sec. Is that showing? I think so. No? Yep. Is that showing? Someone? Yes? Hope so. <laughs> cool. Um, cool. So basically, um, what we've got up to is that um, you go into your course and you can now share the whole entire, well, we're making it so you can share the whole entire course. So you click more, share to MoodleNet. Um, this would pop up and let you know that you're sharing this course as a, a resource. Click share. If you're not signed in, it would ask you to sign in to your MoodleNet um, to get the authentication there. Uh, you click allow. Um, there'll be a little bit of time while it's um, sending that. Um, and then it'll give you a notification that it's all good to go. And then that'll, that could take you to MoodleNet and you'll um, be shown the resources. Um, there's another option where you can click and if you go into edit mode, it'll give you the option to select um, parts of the course. So you can share the course with uh, mitigating some of the activities. Um, and then you would just click uh, down the bottom, um, share to MoodleNet. It would just give you a list of the stuff you've selected. And then it would be the same process for sharing to MoodleNet. Um, and then another functionality we have worked on is um, a progress um, history because of, um, say, if there's uh, the way that we're doing the sharing at the moment, if there's um, time to upload, if people have slow internet, those sorts of things. Um, so basically, this will take you to a page which will give you the status of what's been shared. Um, few little things to note here is that um, we're making it so the table doesn't keep this information forever. Um, so just working on the wording here, but basically just to we'll let the user know that it, it won't be here forever. Um, we're looking at about 24 hours. Um, there'll be little tips here just to let you know what these um, status updates mean. And then um, with the successful ones, you can click through and it will take you to MoodleNet as well. So that's just some um, updates there we're working. There's also, I've forgotten, there's also the activity sharing, which we had before, which is just the same process, but just for a single activity. Um, so that's, that's it from me. Thanks very much. Um, on to the next. Four questions. No? Oh, Brett? Just a real quick question with the bulk. Are you sharing though, when you do that bulk share, is, they, uh, is the intent they will share those pieces of content individually or is it as a like a course export it's like a course export so yeah if yeah, you cool. want to do individual it would just be the activity um you could either sure share the whole course without being selective or you do the um you just select the thing it'll be as a bulk yeah and the, the other cool. thing i'll just quickly jump in on that question too because it's a, a good intro to it these are things that we uh, want to start to explore those patterns for backup and restore in the first place as well in terms of making that experience better um, there's some we sort of when we came to this and a couple of the members of the team had some good ideas around how, how like to come up with that bulk selection in the first place and then we sort of quickly realized that there's a path there for making uh, modernizing backup and restore which we haven't carted up yet but still in the early days but sort of an exciting thought having backup and restore with a good use a good ui